Well, would you look at that? We've got some new goodies from Damn Designs, and you may be familiar with that company if you've been with me for a while. And they've brought us some really cool paracord beads like the Monsuta, UFO, Milk Can, and Poison beads. I've also reviewed a bunch of their EDC tools that include pry bars, knives, and various other pieces of goodies. And just in time for spooky season, we've got some new options. And what do we have here first up is the brass skull bead, which is called the Necro bead. And that looks super cool. Oh, I am a little worried about the size of that lanyard hole though, but we'll see. Next up, this cute little one is the babushka bead in titanium. Double-sided details on this one, and this bead is actually a miniaturized version of the babushka stash box. I don't have one with me, but it is a small pill box with a magnetic removable faceplate that looks just like this. This next one here is the poison bead, and this one is in stainless steel in a raw machined finish. I have the black aluminum version one, but this SS version has much more heft to it, and it feels nice for sure. You know what, while I'm here, I just can't resist. By the way, does anybody else remember those crappy orange peanut shaped Halloween candies? I think they're called circus peanuts or something. Like who actually enjoyed those? Anyhow, getting back to it, this next one might be my most favorite, and it is the tombstone bead in copper. Now this is really cool for me because I have the big brother, which is the tombstone bottle opener slash cigar holder. And well, you know. So those two things definitely do match up. And finally, we have the milk can bead, which you've already seen on this channel. And I don't need two of these, so we'll have to save this one for a giveaway. Now let's get back to that lanyard hole issue. So first off, let's see which bead would fit my tombstone best. Now I really like the idea of using this tombstone bead on the tombstone itself. A bit of tombstone inception. And these graphics and designs on the beads were done by a fellow creator in the EDC space. That is Mark of Castle X Grayscale fame, and he is the designer behind all of that. Anyhow, the lanyard hole does look a bit small, so I'm going to cut my cords on an angle and melt the ends to see if they fit, and they do not. Okay, let's try removing a couple of inner cords to see if that helps, and again, they don't. My fingers are starting to hurt. One sec. Let me gather myself. Need a bit more candy. Smarties are a Canadian exclusive. Did you know that? And I'm not talking about those chalky fruity pills that are only marginally better than chewable vitamins. Anyhow, now I've removed all the inner guts, leaving only two inner strands. And with the help of my trusty Leatherman pliers, I am able to get the cord through. So phew, I know that I could have just used some thinner cord like 275 or 95 cord, but I guess I'm a bit stubborn like that. Also, I wanted to use this orange. And I just realized I wanted to tie a couple of snake knots first. <sighs> okay, mulligan, let's take the bead off and let's tie a couple of snake knots and then get the bead back on. Now, after that, I'm going to go with the good old diamond knot. Now, these beads really are awesome, but I do give them a knock for the lanyard board being a bit too small for 550. I do get that if the lanyard hold was made any bigger, the entire bead would have to be scaled up to accommodate that, but just my honest opinion, of course. So if you want to check these beads out, I'll have a link to the Damn Designs website below. And at the time of this video going up, there has been a restock, so they should be available. And now for those of you that stuck around, here's a little bonus for you, my review of a distinctly Canadian treat, the Coffee Crisp but in this case, the Coffin Crisp, seeing as how it's spooky season. Now, if you haven't had the pleasure of trying one of these out, let me educate you. What we've got is a candy bar with an outer chocolatey coating, and inside that, we have alternating layers of vanilla wafer and a foamed coffee-flavored soft candy. Ooh, that's good. The tagline for this candy bar has always been a nice light snack, and that it is. Now, when you bite into this bar, you get a really nice, light, satisfying crunch as you get through the layers of wafer and the moment the wafer and coffee foam touch your tongue, it all just melts along with a chocolatey coating. Now, it's not overly sweet for a candy bar and the coffee notes are there, but they're not overpowering. Honestly, I've always loved Coffee Crisp ever since I was a kid. Is it the best candy bar of all time? No, no, not really. Not in my opinion, but it's definitely in my top five. And one last note, there is actually a small amount of caffeine in this candy bar. I think about 10 milligrams per bar. 
so it's not much, but if you are caffeine sensitive, especially in the evenings, you might want to avoid eating one late at night. A mistake I made, unfortunately, once. <laughs>